How giving up on love, I found my soulmate. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing.com. I am Fuck It! And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, I'm going to tell you a little story about soulmates. Okay, so ever since I was a little kid, right? You know how boys go through this thing where they don't like girls. Girls are yucky and puberty starts to kick in and all of a sudden they're worried about their hygiene, their hair, their clothes, right? Well, I was one of those little boys that always liked the little girls. I would play Barbies with them. I would be like the male Ken doll and all these other things, right? And I think my dad thought that maybe I was gay. I just had heads up on these little boys that didn't know what they were missing. So, anyways, needless to say, grew up in the seven, late 70s, early 80s was my adolescence. And that was the era of the you know, romantic comedy and all of the things that Hollywood and music, you know, indoctrinate you with about how love is supposed to go. And that there's the idea of a soulmate and it's like magical and mystical and all this other stuff. So whether you think you're influenced by it or not, uh, you probably are on some level. And so, you know, I've dated a lot of women. I had a lot of girlfriends. I was married once. And I always had this idea that there was a soulmate and, you know, love conquers all and all these other things. And I finally got to a point uh, about a year and a half ago where I just said, you know what? This is exhausting. This is expensive. And this is not getting me anywhere. And I had uh, given up on dating, and I said I made a resolve that I was done with it. I'm focusing on myself. So while I casually dated more for um, just the need to like hang out, you know, everything was going to be casual, and that was how I was going to live out my days. Was I'd given up on trying to make anyone a steady girlfriend I wasn't bitter I wasn't like one of these scorned guys who becomes you know a jerk and a hookup artist or anything like that you know I wasn't out to hurt anyone's feelings but I had pretty much just said okay that's it you know what I don't really I mean I have my child I don't really think that I need anything more than what I have I'm gonna focus on my career I'm gonna focus on myself improve you know um, self-development education my career all these things because I found when I was looking back and I was you know became more introspective that I had wasted a lot of time and I wanted to live my best life and my life should not feel complete or like it's missing anything just because I don't have a wife or a girlfriend right and then in the coming months, I was really making such great progress where I was very comfortable, you know, not having someone to wake up next to me, um, not worried about, oh, you know, it's a holiday and I don't have a girlfriend and her family to go to or, you know, to feel weird in social situations. I became very comfortable being by myself and I learned to love myself. And I think that's the focus of this uh, conclusion that I reached was I had become whole, I had become complete, and I was self-sufficient, and I was happy that way. It doesn't mean that you're never lonely, but I was more just alone than feeling lonely. So there's a difference, and if you've ever had um, a house full of people and then they leave, and you have a moment to yourself where you can just kick back, watch a show you want to, or just do nothing, and you feel the sense of relief, that was more of the overriding feeling that I had. 
It's like, I'm fine by myself. That's fine. A woman, if there was a woman in my life, it would complement my life. It wouldn't complete my life. You know, it's all, you know, these hallmarky type cards and, you know, I'm nothing without you and you complete me and you're my happiness. And it sounds nice, you know, and you're my heart, you're my other half, but the truth is, is it's codependency. You know, if you want to take and just put logic in as opposed to uh, feelings of romance. So I basically had always believed in, uh, you know, there's someone for you, there's a soulmate, this and that, and I totally given up on it. With, without any, without fail, I really had resolved that this doesn't exist. Enter my girlfriend. Um, we connect online. She was beautiful, but that wasn't like, I wasn't like my jaw wasn't hitting the ground or anything. I just thought, well, she's very good looking. And we had a phone call that was supposed to be just 10 minutes. She was in between meetings. We ended up talking for an hour and 10 minutes. And it was like so easy. And I was intrigued. I was like, wow, this girl seems amazing. And so we set up our first date and I walked into the restaurant and I saw her and she was just so beautiful. I had never dated a woman that looked like her. The dinner and everything, um, over the next four or five hours, we talked and talked and talked and like we had known each other forever, but there was always something more to know. And I had done the work on myself to feel whole and complete where I didn't feel like excessively vulnerable or, you know, I, I didn't feel like a panic or a fear that I might lose the opportunity with this girl. I just uh, took it as it came and fell in love with her very fast. And I knew that this time it was different. And is it a matter of meeting the right person or is it more a matter of you being the right person? So when you become Mr. Right, or if you're a woman watching this, Miss Right, and you're becoming your best self, and you feel good about you, you bring something different to the table. You know, you bring a different energy. You don't bring your need. You know, you don't look, you're not looking for that other person to complete you or to make you happy. So I look at this and I go, okay, this is very different. And I don't know if it's a matter of it was a different, if it was a different person or the right person and everybody else was awful. I mean, I don't necessarily believe that. If I'm being honest with myself and I look back, I look at the holes in my game, right? And maybe, um, you know, my behavior, my character, my internal dialogue, um, you know, the reasons I was looking for somebody. And when you come with, a, in a sense, for lack of a better word, I don't want to say desperation, but you're hungry, you're thirsty. You're looking for somebody to fill that hole. Just like when somebody gets out of a relationship and they're very down and out, and you know, the saying, oh, it's good to, um, the, the best way to get over somebody is to get under someone else. And you know, basically that's a rebound and it's a placeholder. And if you've ever done that, you know that when you come out of fresh out of a relationship and you're hurt and you, you know, you're thinking about that person all the time, when you go out with somebody new, you're projecting the good and the bad about that person on this new person because you haven't taken the time to heal. You haven't taken the time to become an individual again. You know, a lot of times, depending on how long you were with that person, you shared a lot. There were parts of you that you may or may not realize that you gave up about yourself and came to be one with this other person. Maybe you had routines, restaurants you like to go to, music um, that you started listening to because you were dating this person. All of these things, it shaped you in another way. Just like when you have friendships throughout your life, you know, you think about, um, look around you, uh, some of your tastes, your preferences, your style, uh, your jokes, they were all shaped by a community. You know, the, the friends and family, your circle, um, it influenced you in some way and you influenced them as well, for better or worse. So, you know, when you go with that, when you go into the relationship 
um, a new relationship with all of those things about you from that other person that you just dated it is a it's an unfair disadvantage um, for both yourself and for the new person because they're never gonna fill those shoes and you don't want them to because there's a reason that relationship didn't work out and it's not assigning blame to either or it's just what it is right you can analyze it all day I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist or a therapist or a social worker I just act like one um, it's just I'm a, I'm a man that has experiences and I think that uh, we have a lot more in common the human race uh, than we have differences and so I know that there's been influencers uh, and people and mentors in my life that have helped me out a lot uh, through certain t times and trials and that's why I share this content that hopefully it helps some of you guys out there to get on the straight and narrow and it's funny because I've been with this girl now over a year and every day I'm with her it is still like the first day it is fresh uh, it is fun we can talk for hours we usually go to bed too late because we're still talking and still hanging out and still having fun as if um, we always kid and say it's like a little kid sleepover without parental supervision um, and that's how it feels with her and I knew I was in love with her like within the first two weeks man I broke all of the red pill or alpha male rules and totally wore my heart on my sleeve with her but I knew with her it was different this time um, I didn't deceive myself into thinking that I'm going to be self-sufficient and then um, fall in love. It just hit me like a ton of bricks out of nowhere, but it was different with this one. It felt right because I didn't lose myself in order to appease, attract, or keep the girl. And there's a lot there and it takes time. You've got to do the work and you know, no matter who you are we all have work to do some of you more than others sometimes um, age and experience is a factor too so you'll know when you know because you won't feel that need that it won't consume your thoughts having a girl a woman in your life uh, it just becomes a, an afterthought you're not on dating apps anymore swipe 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 looking for somebody I mean when um, I found this girl I was casually talking to a bunch of different people but you know there was um, you know in the early stages when we were uh, talking and matched on this app she was like I didn't even think you were interested in me like you wouldn't get back to me for a while this and that I thought you were playing a game and I was like no I just wasn't focused on trying to get a woman I was focused on my happiness and focused on self-improvement and becoming a better father a better trainer um, working on things like this channel in fact and you know trying to contribute to the conversation and to you know making things better for everybody you know helping out guys that were in certain uh, similar situations you know just from my experience and trying to find what's the common thread that can help everybody so that's that she didn't believe in soulmates either by the way and now we both do. And I think that you took, we took two people that were in control of their lives, had the, their stuff together, and weren't necessarily looking for like two lovesick puppies. You know, two healthy adults that found commonalities and found somebody who complemented their life and didn't complete it, so to speak. So, I hope that helps you guys. That's my experience. Work on yourself. If you're single right now, keep working on you. Take your focus off of finding somebody and focus on being somebody. Being your best you. Being happy with yourself. It sounds like um, it's a cliche or that everybody says that they do it, you know? like. Whenever you exchange a pleasantry with somebody, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you? Are you doing great? You know, like really do the work. It really pays off. Okay, guys, take care. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Walking, breathing, living proof.
didn't think soulmates existed. Now I'm living in it. I know you can too. Just gotta do the work. Take care, guys.